moons has a very stable environment. It can record very ancient uh, impacts or some other events you know, on the Earth Moon system. Then, in this way, we can know what happened on Earth because everything on on Earth was wiped out by geological processes, by weathering, tectonics, by cycling of rocks. The Moon is much stabler, so it's a key recorder of a lot of events that that were not recorded on on Earth. So knowing the crystallization or the solidification of the lunar surface, we are able to know a lot of things about our own home, Earth. On the moon called Taurus Litro. Here they hope to find the youngest material yet sampled and direct evidence of lunar volcanoes. the atom probe, which is a very new technique used in the semiconductor industry in the past. We in introduced the technique to the geology recently. Basically, we counted the atom position one by one to see where they are. Then we confirm that the, the age of the, the mineral was authentic. And this rock basically solved three very key questions in the lunar community. First, when the Earth-Moon system formed. Second, when did the lunar magma ocean, most of them crystallized in the ocean, uh, in the magma ocean. Third, and when one of the very important uh, uh, lunar, lunar rock type on the, on the moon is the magnesium suite. And this also, because this rocks from norite, also the magnesium sweet type. It means the this magmatism of this rock type started really early. So there were very three important points for these results. Even after 50 years, we have been learning from Apollo samples. We expected more samples from Artemis missions. And hopefully we're, we're going to know, know more about our, about our Earth Moon system, our, about our home, about the solar system. So the moon has been, honestly, when I'm studying the moon rocks, every time they give me surprises, every time. So... So I think for me, it's very inspirational for future missions, for future studies, maybe for some younger generations. For some of the others like it to Houston, we'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future.